What? Yeah. What? All right. <laughs> We're here. Hey, everybody. So, I got nothing. All right. Wow. We uh, <laughs> finally, the tech gods <laughs> are to be friendly with us this evening. Oh, um, yeah. We are on. We are live. Welcome to another late night gooey adventure with myself and all you wonderful misfits. Oh, let's see here. What do we have to do tonight? As you can all see, we all have wonderful, wonderful shirts on. Yes. Everybody talk shirts. Yes. All of them. Yes. yes. Absolutely everybody. <laughs> Everyone's got one. Yeah. <laughs> well, they did decide that in addition to the De the Dell Airlines of shirts that they would go ahead and make one for the other. Hey, airlines. everybody. I got nothing. Also, uh, am I getting feedback real bad, or is that just my imagination? Uh, yeah, it sounds yeah. like someone has it on in the background too. with the sound yeah. on. <laughs> somebody's got it. Somebody's got their their Twitch stream up. Yeah, I think it's Pam. Probably. Pam having sound issues? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Michael coming from somewhere. All right. Well, thank you for letting us know, chat. All right. Oh, yeah. One second. <clears throat> my chat's not showing up. There we go. Are we live yet? Yeah. What do you mean? We are live. live yet? I'm just messing with you. <laughs> well, James is walking away. Hard to say. All right. <laughs> well, there's the, uh, there's some noise out in the, out in the hallway, and I wanted to at least clean that up before we uh, start. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm not ready because uh, we're starting on time. This is crazy. <laughs> right? But, um, no, so. As usual, we're gonna pass this off to Pam because she hates me when I do no, this, we're not. so she can talk she about all totally of our sponsors. <laughs> you should never be unprepared uh, for talking about sponsors. You do it every week. <laughs> yeah, you would think, but I did actually bring up the document so I could read it. Um, shout out to our sponsors, Gooey Cube, bringing us the wonderful world of Zyathai. Uh the fabled flame who gives a. Uh, uh, Donates a candle every month, a D20 candle for us to give away. MC Etching, who makes nerdy etchings on glass, uh, plastic, and more. And let's see. Do you have the new one, James? New one? Oh, Is I do. Is this week? Yeah. I, do. I don't are... know. I'm asking. It is this uh, week. We have it. We have it in this week. Um, we are going to do a an actual full group uh gameplay of it again here soon and then we will offer off two of these as well as another couple games from our good friend Corey here so um thank you again Corey, for offering these up so we can give these away to all of our wonderful people so thank you and he is at chrysalis oh, endeavors goodness. endeavors thank you mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, uh, anything else? Let's see here. Our t-shirt store seems to be down at the moment, but hopefully we'll yeah. be back soon. Yeah, we've yeah. got to talk to our merchandise and find out where our store is down at the moment. But, you know, when all of the tech works for the stream, of course, something else goes with water. <laughs> so we'll figure it out. Um, <laughs> anyway, I don't think we have anything else as of right now. Does anybody else have anything else that we need to discuss or go over? I definitely no? don't. All right. No. Awesome. Um, nope, I think we're clear. Awesome. So then let's dive into episode 15 called One Wagon, No Wheels. So as everybody remembers, last week you had arrived in the town of Bevenshire after dealing with the <laughs> obnoxious kind of cute frukin that live <laughs> on the cliff sides to the western portion of Verdestia. From there, you just gathered a broken down wagon, carried it pretty much completely with the sled built out of pickaxe, broken down <laughs> wood. I'm telling you, I can't make this stuff up, people. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but, um, it works. It do, It did work. Some some well placed 
We're not sure how. From a <laughs> miner's pick, allowed them to make a sled uh, part for the wagon, and then dragging the wagon through Bevenshire, breaking up the dirt and cobblestone road, um, similar to how Lightning McQueen does in cars. You see the giant curves and cuts through everything. They tried to pick it up uh, and move it, and after the second try, collapsed both back wheels, and now it sits. As you all remember, they then headed over to the blacksmith, a strange little character known as Bobbert, who wears a shrunken head around his neck, and a bit of a riddle was given to the party in order to gather the information on unique items that he might have hidden within his shop. So, There's an anchor. It is an it anchor, is not yes. An anchor. <laughs> what? Yep. Well, the, the, yes, the anchor's the, in the shop. Yes, the, the, the anchor was <laughs> the riddle in the shop. Yes. No, he's selling an anchor, right? No, he's not selling an anchor. I mean, we don't have a boat. We don't need an anchor. Yeah. I mean... Wagons were called prairie schooners. Yeah, but even that, that's that's a scooter, not not a boat. No, no schooner. <laughs> it's already schooner. derailing. It's a type of boat. But prairie is I thought land, those were so land schooner. Amazing, oh, we're like, on that great sand schooners. sea. So we're going to start this here again. Yeah, so... Oh, boy. The arguments of you all um, makes you. me laugh. Some pickaxes, they have a flat side. Yeah. Here we go again. <laughs> All week in the Discord, he's just been like... Hey, it's been this this crazy. Just crazy. If you haven't actually joined our Discord, please come do so. We're offering the, Fever the dream. ability to influence the stream a little bit, put your own flair into it. Some of these characters that we're talking about tonight are actually people that our community has offered over to bring alive. So thank you very much. Um, but as the head gives agreeance to Bobbert to reveal some much more unique items, Bobbert scurries into the back room and brings out this three items. Is one of them a Bobert? Oh, one is, is a Bobert. Is it one still nighttime? Is, what was that? Is it still nighttime? Because I thought he Ted told us to come back in the morning. He did, but then you discovered his his riddle. Oh, okay. I, I thought he still told us to come back in the morning. No. I think it meant the morning is in next week. Yeah. As the in, royal. Of, yeah, the... Yeah, so, so... You just broke the fourth wall. Come on, man. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So as... The... As he does, he brings out three items. The one is a sheath dagger. The other mm -hmm. is a studded leather piece of armor that uh, gives a blue tint to it. And the, and the third one comes in a small box. And as he opens up the box, you can now see a very ornately carved piece of ivory and wood weaved together into a crude pipe. It's all sorts of um, beasts of burden as well as uh, predators that kind of are sketched into the sides of this pipe. So it's an ass pipe. <laughs> what? <laughs> beasts of burden. I mean, it could be. I guess, I guess it could be, yes. There could be. <laughs> I'm still lost. <laughs> Otherwise known it's, as a donkey. It's Come funny on, man. because Decimus is 12 years oh, old. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I've never heard a donkey called a beast of burden, so. <laughs> I thought for sure he was going to say, I've never heard a donkey called an ass. And then it just went. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Uh, so. No, I'm just I'm not really, you know. <laughs> curious about. Uh, do you guys, either any of you guys wear leather armor? Or is it just me? I mean, I don't wear shirts, so... <laughs> Dude, none of us actually... Like, two of us don't... <laughs> three of us don't wear armor. Am I the heavy? AC is better without armor. Do you wear armor, Karis? Yeah, he wears armor. Yeah, he wears armor. Uh, he wears, like, okay. medium or something. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, we should check out this 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 armor. <laughs> What's the deal with this armor? Ah, uh, this armor. Yeah, this armor is uh, a heavy set. To, uh, you can see it has a, a heavy set of strong leathers with archaic symbols of waves and oceans. Um, small studs hold the lever pieces together, and the entire armor is stained with this aquamarine blue tint. It allows you to go faster in the water. Shroom. Uh, it'd be great on our prairie schooner. <laughs> um, how much do you want for this? Like, what's the price? Picked up from a uh, Myroon privateer that stopped over. Just yeah. A few months. Um. Hmm. That kind of looks at you and he noticing the different symbols on you and everything and uh, 250 mm, alright well uh... <laughs> never mind yeah so what's the deal with this dagger uh, don't uh, let out any more demons uh, so he pulls this very ornately uh, this ornate sheath, and you can now see the da the dagger is uh, a black curved blade with an entwined golden tube that runs down the uh, the non edged portion of the the blade. Um, a coal colored hilt and tarnished iron cap on the bottom. An emerald lays in the bottom of it, and you can see if you look close enough as he moves it, this sloshing liquid that kind of flows within it. It's a poison dagger, huh? Yes. Some Sounds right up your alley. Strange cloaked figure came in, stated uh, he would give me a good price and uh, got it off his hands. How much is that? If you're having issues with the with the armor, this is uh, much more expensive. And don't we have like three hundred gold total? I mean, I don't know how much gold we have. I had I have seventy five. I had seventy seven. But I still need three extra gold to finish paying for we the wheels have, on this wagon. Group I, treasure. We have a hundred gold, three hundred seventy one silver. I think I put like seventy five of that gold in there. How much is silver? Like a dime, right? No, it's like a like a copper is like a buck. Well, a copper, yeah. one copper is like a penny. <laughs> no, are, well, it depends. If we're using the gooey cube system, I think it's a buck. But, it's a buck, yeah. 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 So and a gold it's... is like a hundred. Okay, so a silver is like ten bucks. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because nobody believe because we don't believe in electrum because electrum doesn't exist. No, electrum sucks. I mean, who wants a <laughs> triangle piece of money anyways? You know what I'm saying? Electrum is is in gooey cube. Just saying. I uh, no. Nope, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's it is though. <laughs> nope. Uh, um, Till the wizard right. says otherwise, I, I don't believe him. He, he does. It says it's. They're called Lex in in the canon. Yeah. No. All right. Never seen one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um. So. Yeah. Well, do you have any way that we can make like a bunch of money to buy this stuff? Oh, also, what's the pipe? Let me just let me hear about the pipe. Ah, got this one from a half orc. Came down from Magdranog. Uh, really didn't want to give it away, but you know, the head said that it was probably a good idea. Was his name Peter? Is it a Ooh. smoking pipe or the kind you play? Joke. <laughs> you know, Peter Piper. <laughs> oh no, not that kind. It's a smoking pipe. Is it a smoking pipe or the kind you play? It's a smoking pipe. I, I figured it was a smoking pipe. You know any? <laughs> I don't smoke, so. Everybody smokes pipe weed. So do you yeah, guys come smoke? On. What? He's like, I can show you. But we might show you to a wizard. He'd like he, one. He, there's a small pouch of pipe weed that sits on the in the in the box as well. And he pulls it out, <laughs> lights it, and he places it to his, and you go, and as he does, you start to see, the figure that looks almost like a dragon kind of appearing out of the smoke and it sits there for about a minute until it just kind of flutters away does does it actually do anything though 
Good for parlor tricks. Ah. Uh, I gotcha. For that thing. Uh, ten gold. Ah. Anyway, wasn't there a mention of some... Maybe we need to make some funds first. But wasn't there mention of like <laughs> some uh, some work that needed doing around here? Uh, yeah, I think he needed some help uh, making those wagon wheels. I think he explicitly <laughs> said the opposite. <laughs> you, you see these jagged, like, crossed teeth kind of stare at you. With his eye have bloodshot looking directly at you. I'll just, I'll just flex at him. <laughs> I mean, to intimidate him into letting you do manual labor? No, no, I'm just showing him I'm strong. <laughs> I could be of use. James's silence makes me think that he goes unnoticed. <laughs> yeah, no, he doesn't seem to pay attention. You're right, um, I am like three times his height. <laughs> he also like ducking to get into a building, but, you know. <laughs> so anyway, real work that needs to be done. <laughs> Is there any of that? or? Um, check the tavern. Check the billboards are you gonna go to down to the mine and see if you can find something what are we Maybe trying to find down there oh yeah way to use those fucking mining picks <laughs> <laughs> i got one for each of you you want, <laughs> you want one <laughs> yeah. you got enough picks for it <laughs> i'm not doing it's, that uh, it's been closed down for months but uh if you're willing to try you know, to go in and you know find why it's some, been closed down uh cave in uh, why is it closed oh you should make more short work at that decimus i mean yeah probably but is it safe secret i don't know do you know who would know <laughs> no Probably one of the miners. I mean, somebody probably owns the mine. We could probably find that out at the tavern. Yeah, that's true. There's got to be like a job board or something around here. Yeah, he said it's in the tavern. I mean, it's like prime drinking time. <laughs> yeah. It's, when is the... it not prime drinking time for you? <laughs> I was going to say, the sun's already sleeping. been down. <laughs> And you're you're looking at a couple hours already in the dark, and you're just kind of yeah, it's finally it's, it's drinking time. <laughs> the cobbler kind anything. of looks at you yet again, strangely, and um, this Don't time think he Am and I are there. Oh. Grabs the other, he grabs the other things yeah, and there. uh, we're, we're, we're oh, wait, outside. No, I back we're away. outside unless he went in. All right, so let's head to the tavern. To the tavern. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's go to tavern. Tavern. Yeah. Also, so did, uh, Karis, I know, like, ten gold. And wash off and some of the Karis, goods. where did you guys go then? Because I thought everybody, from what it was stated, everybody was at the same place. Uh, apparently they sat I outside the door. I thought we went to go get a room to put all the stuff from the wagon. Okay. Oh, that works, too. Mm-hmm. Right? Also, That's uh, what I last remember. According to 12th Tone, he looked at the uh, encyclopedia, and he said that there's a, a big gap where Electro yeah. would be. That's what we call a lie. <laughs> I, I think that it was not manufacturer defect. That's the way it's supposed to be. Let me tell you, I have run what gooey webs we meet, meet weave, possibly more than maybe like four or five other people on the face of the planet, and there's definitely the word electrum in there as lek. So I know for a fact it exists. <laughs> I think it's just a fairy tale. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> it's a myth until seen, you know. All right, how about it's this? It's Bitcoin. I'm writing into the lizard folk thing that that is the most commonly used currency exactly. on that particular lizard area of the folk. continent. That's the Canada reason right now. there. Lizard folk used it. It's pointless for the rest of the world. Yep. It's canon now. It's the lizard men. Lizard men don't count. They're a different type of civilization completely. They robbed they actually... the entire 
land of Electrum. <laughs> and that's their one currency. <laughs> they actually don't really use that much currency anyway. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's like move on. And like, I'm assuming that Decimus is probably going to like screw around here, support the blacksmith shop, trying to get the help. No, I'm going but to the bar to drink. <laughs> okay, I'll go with you. In that case. All right. <clears throat> I really kind of want to steal this stuff, but that seems like a bad idea. <laughs> no, it's a terrible <laughs> idea. I need to come back oh, here and no. ask him about hand axes. Well, I mean, when we leave. I need to ask him how many hand axes I can get. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need any more hand axes. He wants to trade his pickaxes for hand axes. <laughs> <laughs> if we get the mine running axes. again, those, those pickaxes are going to be expensive. Because he probably doesn't have a whole bunch, like, queued up, like, ready to go since the mine is dead. Yeah. But if the mine opens back up and he doesn't have any ready, you can sell yours at a premium. Oh, yeah, it's very true. I could I could probably sell them for a lot. See, I'm an ideas man. That's that's my job. How much is a pickaxe? Eric, don't that's my job. Them what that's not your do. job. That's my job. How much is Get a, a bag of holding, just throw them all in there, and then you can just chuck pickaxes at people. <laughs> Probably better things to do than bag of holding, so but it's on, the list. it's on the list. <laughs> okay. So the general cost for one would be like two gold. That's that's way more gold than I have now. <laughs> that's because you keep spending it on beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So you guys are heading then to the inn or back to the uh, to the um, inn. Of the the inn slash tavern. All right. I think they so, would have already taken care of the stuff on the cart, right? Yeah. I mean, you guys okay. had horses with saddlebags, so. So we Darn will. Down. So we'll camera pan back to. We've got yeah. stabling for the horses. We'll 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 switch over to Essifer and Karis. Yeah. So as you guys enter the small tavern, um, you see that everything is uh, built with these. Uh, tiny blue lanterns that kind of line the outskirts of the, the tavern walls. And mm -hmm. this quiet ominence goes through this the tavern as sorry, what was the name of the tavern? It's called the Twin Twin Lanterns. The Twin Peaks, you say? No, Twin Lanterns. <laughs> <laughs> Twin Peaks is down the road, and it's a little more risque. I mean, just leave it alone. <laughs> I, don't know, I figured that's... <laughs> that's where Will Wheat lives. <laughs> and yet again, we get shut down. Anyway. Um, yeah, so as you walk in, you see about a half a dozen people um, just minding their business, uh, mostly sitting at the bar. Um, a few tables are... Uh, picked off by a small handful of um, a, another small group, but it's otherwise uh, a quaint small place. Hey, uh, barkeep, you got uh, a couple of rooms? He watches this somewhat wrinkled faced a uh, dwarven man leans up from behind the bar and you can only see literally to his nose as it's all he's seeing is from his <laughs> nose up. And he's... Sure, sure. Um, yeah, we've got uh, we've got a few rooms. Um, they're in the back. Uh, how long are you planning on staying? Oh, uh, probably only a couple of nights. Uh, how much would uh, four rooms cost for three nights? We could split Starts rooms. counting. On, you can see him starting to count on his fingers. <laughs> Twelve. All right. I'll give him 13 gold. <laughs> Silver. He, he was like, he was like, he was like, no. And he places it back. He's like, my apologies. Silver. Like, well, you seem like a good fellow, and then I'll push it back to him. 
We need stabling for the horses. It's like 1300 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're not the treasure anymore. <laughs> hey, this is my money. I don't touch the treasure money. Okay. <laughs> That's fine then. We need stabling right. for the horses as well. We have four horses. Of course. And we'll have somebody go around and get them right now. And uh, one more thing. You know of any uh, anything that could use some uh, adventurer's touch around here? Any sort of mishappenings? In this small town? Not really. We haven't seen much of uh, excitement since the mine f fell a couple couple months ago. What was it? A uh, an earthquake or something? Just a cave in? Yeah, it's it's what the miners said. They said it was a cave in, and they headed off towards uh, headed off east. Hmm. All right. Well, thank you. We'll. Uh... Get back to you if we got any more questions. No problem. You see him. He goes. He goes. Agnes, get the horses. This much similar old uh, dwarven lady kind of waddles out from behind the desk, and you can see just matted hair. It's like uh, salt and pepperish hair. Um, little bit of a five o'clock shadow going on and uh she's yeah yeah and she's kind of waddles up next to you and just waits oh uh could you uh show us to our rooms sure she starts stomping away sure sure <laughs> the heavy footing as she Heads down the hall and through a, a a door, you can now see a line of rooms that are in the back area of the of the tavern. Um, and there's four sets on each each side. Uh, placed you all on the list, so you've got one, three, five, nine. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, and then I'll just oh, start dang, kind of she putting goes. all our stuff in there. What was that? Pam just I'll just be going from okay. there to the wagon to bring all those things I think are valuable. All right. Yep. So on your first trip, she walks out with you and gets the reins from the horses and heads them out to a stable close by by the, by the tavern. Um, and finally, on the second load in uh, use, as you're gathering up some final things, you start to um, gain, or you see the rest of the, or the other two heading your direction. We lose somebody. Hey guys, I got rooms for us. Us, yeah. The other two, I thought you meant like people that worked at the hotel for a second. Yeah. Oh, no, no, you yeah, can't. Same. Hello, <laughs> we're back. We found some cool magic stuff to buy, but it's real expensive. Also, I need well, like ten gold. I mean, hey, Carries, do you <laughs> do you smoke? Uh, I mean, not really. Okay, never mind then. Only when it has a person. I need like ten gold from the party treasury, please. Cares to pay for uh, yeah. the Give me. Yeah, to pay for these wagon wheels. I have all of it. Like it's eighty gold for these wheels, and I have all of it, but um, <clears throat> but like ten. All right, there's ten gold. Thank you. I actually have all of it, but but three. But that will give me seven gold to buy little stuff if we need it. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. I will make oh, changes wow. on the sheet. I'll find some work to do tomorrow, so try and make back yeah. some of that money yeah we'll, we'll get some stuff done and hopefully uh make some money decimus wants hey, uh, to go clear out the mine 
Yeah, I was about to mention that. Uh, they just said uh, the mine caved in a couple months back. Yeah, that's what the blacksmith said. I mean, maybe if we can find some, some ore deposits, then uh, we yeah. can bring some money in with that. I mean, or if we just clear it so that they can start mining it, they'll probably pay us. Oh, well, yeah, that that too. But uh, I, I think it's better to take straight from the source than by third party, you know what I'm saying? Well, and here's another thing to consider. Um, do any of us have any experience excavating or mining ore? No. Uh, if, yeah, um, no. Do we I mean, know what try. kind of mine it is? Did uh, anybody no. ask? I didn't ask. I, mean, <laughs> I would assume iron, maybe. Maybe coal. Huh. I don't know. Common materials, <laughs> you know. I thought maybe in your travels, especially <clears throat> since you're big, maybe you had worked in a mine before. Ah, uh, no. Always a fighter. Karis? Anything? Mmm, nothing. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, we can go We can go see. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? We cave it in again, right? <laughs> uh, did you yeah, guys... Sure. Was there a job board in the end? Did you guys take a look? See if there's anything on there? They, they said it was really quiet around here. Especially since the mine shut down and most of the miners went east. So there yeah. was nothing on the job board? It did not look, but I think trying to clear out the mines is probably going to be the most exciting thing we'll find here. I mean, it's, it's moving maybe, rocks from uh, one place to another, hopefully. Well, maybe a I mean, golem blast it, you know? We could fight that That thing. would be horrifying. There might be another demon behind there. No, I mean, there could be. Absolutely. I don't think we should give the, the mighty gods the, any ideas. I don't care. I mean, the demons haven't actually done anything to us. They were released. <laughs> well, yeah, the demons are fine. They're, nothing's going to go wrong with the demons. It's just the other things that are the problem. Well, yeah. But, I mean, <laughs> we could actually, like, double-check the job board, or we could just, like, go into it. I'm, I'm down for whatever. I mean, yeah, we yeah, could well. we could look for the now hiring <clears throat> location, you know. Well, I mean, I'm sure I'm... there's got to be some sort of menial labor around here to do. I'm still bringing up all this stuff, so let's go in and I can drop off uh, the rest of this stuff in the rooms. Yeah, I'll give you a hint. I am also an excellent supervisor, Ooh. so if we do this mining <laughs> job, like, I'll what make sure you that? guys are... Hey, that's great. I mean, we have to pay you extra? <laughs> Who messed with that? Uh, no, I tell you, for you guys, I'll do it for an even, an even cut. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> good. Do I have to call you, sir? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Well, how about four? Although I do have a cool, like, Marshall's baton, this, like, thing with the jester on it, on either end. <clears throat> Which is kind of neat. Oh. If you do bad every day, at the end of the day, I'm going to get some ink, and I'm going to, like, stamp a sad jester head on, on, your, on your head. <laughs> and if you do good, you then you get a good quotas? jester stamp. What? You mean I have to meet quotas? It's not really quotas, just, like, like don't accidentally kill anyone it's just like a good noodle like, star you know <clears throat> yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's like a days without incident like if you want i can like <laughs> i can put it on your guys's back and then we can have like happy star happy uh -huh. star happy star and yeah. then like yeah. bad star, <laughs> happy star, happy star i mean you know in our line of work is there a day without incident <laughs> You well, know? Some of the days without incidents, how we handle those incidents. Because <laughs> I mean, we'll work it out later. We'll work it out later. Because I mean, earlier today we could have gone without incident, but uh, it's definitely not how things went. <laughs> yeah, no. but it was fun. We learned some stuff. Uh, Don't throw you know, little things in a bag. Sticky. <laughs> I think they probably would have attacked us no matter what. I think that was kind. I mean, I I don't think so. Mm. But it, they would have, though. Have you ever seen one of those things before? I mean, no. I... This is like the fourth time I've seen those things. <laughs> Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> I'll roll a deception against you. <laughs> Screw oh, yeah. it. Why not? What could go wrong? My insight is impeccable. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a 20. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, a 16. 
I've got a seven. He <laughs> seems to be pretty spot on. You're not really <laughs> thinking he's he's lying to you. <laughs> Those little bastards are evil. Well, I mean, why didn't you try and capture him before? Oh. Why don't you have one as a pet already? Well, is... I didn't know how to talk to him last time. I didn't Let's have the magic spell. Let's get something spell. to eat. Ah, you just someone say food? Yeah. <laughs> yes, let's get something to eat. <laughs> I and like then that we'll idea. go check out the well, you'll go check out the mines in the morning. <laughs> Speaking of eating, did you did anybody taste the freaking like what that cream stuff inside of them was? Um, no. I mean, I, Why? I may have actually gotten some in my mouth. <laughs> I don't know. What did it taste like? Very bitter. Uh, yeah, it just tasted like bad alcohol. I'm gonna harvest some of that from the like, <laughs> like just to kind of play with it and see what I can if I if it's poisonous or not. Don't I still have freaking guts all over me? <laughs> For the most part, yeah. I have Probably. not cleaned myself off at all since the fight. <laughs> nah, you're 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 stinking something re you're like something <laughs> fierce. Wait, Wait, didn't we get rained on? And keep Oh can, true, but it's sticky. Is there some yeah. place to have a bath? <laughs> uh, so your your room yeah, is there they, bath are, house? <laughs> they are small. Um there's there's a local a bathhouse bath. in the area okay. that you can go clean up. In the it's morning. free because we paid thirteen hundred gold for thirteen hundred bucks for these rooms. <laughs> well, that includes the stable too, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, that's that's okay. Then. Yeah, because that because the, the dude called out Fade Agnes the to get the horses. So parking is expensive. It is. The parking is very expensive. Uh, you know, it's it's like twenty dollars for one day. You know, like yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So as you guys head back to. The twin lanterns and you can see uh seems to be the place is starting to gather a couple extra patrons but otherwise still a quaint quiet place um someone is sitting in the corner playing a violin it's giving a slight almond uh ambiance to the the inn but otherwise it's quiet this sounds like a hmm. violin Still off. Thunder, Dell. Yeah. It's a violin off. <laughs> How good does he sound? <laughs> uh, I mean, he's not bad. Are we going to have a fiddle competition? <laughs> we might. Oh, he's, he's yeah. an yeah. ass. <laughs> <laughs> to a local... Dell, we'll put us out of our way. misery. To the <laughs> local, the local family crew that comes here. He's a local regular. It seems like he's not the greatest. Every once in a while, you hear twinge of one of the strings that <laughs> leaves this sharp uh, pierce to your ears. But then otherwise, he, he seems to at least be on tone. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to... You guys know what dueling banjos is? Everybody familiar with that? Um, Nobody. Just Pam. <laughs> I mean, no, not really. But I, <laughs> right. I do know of... Dueling, yeah. No, it's like it's the song in Deliverance. <laughs> Deliverance, anybody? In Deliverance? I mean, I, I, I don't know. Have I? I, wow. I might have seen that movie. Oh my God. So it's the song. Devil went down to Georgia. <laughs> yeah, it's the song that goes. Oh, okay. I've seen there's that. There's a guitar video. that plays against it. I'm basically right. going to start that with this with this other violinist. I've, I've, oh, seen, okay. I've seen the clip before. Are you trying to compliment him or no? <laughs> Try, trying to make him He's look as in, 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 the words, in the words of my mentor, like a dumb bitch. <laughs> performance. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, give me your performance. I hope I don't mess this up. Do I have any advantage? Nope. <laughs> Roll a five. <laughs> not yet. Because I'm not actually that good at performance. I'm okay at. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So as you pull out Oops. your instrument and you sit down, stand, sit at the table with the rest of your crew, and you just start to play, and everybody's kind of turns their chair <laughs> as the 
as the wave of music kind of veers slightly toward your direction and as he's just about to end you go off into this massive solo that just <laughs> brightens up the entirety of the the end as i'm and doing that i we'll kick the along. lid of my uh <laughs> i kick the lid of my violin case open on the ground <laughs> sure and, and like start staring at it like put, it puts the money in the basket <laughs> <laughs> as you do so the rest of the group kind of looks and looks down at the the uh, the the case and then you watch them kind of turn their head back and start eating again mm. it's a bunch of poor people around here man yeah <laughs> He's gonna shudder. They don't have I, any money. I would like to yeah. walk up to the bar, and the uh, the uh, mm-hmm. the old wrinkle faced man is there, right? Yep. Hey, uh, you, you look like you got. Nose. You look like you've got good taste. What you got? You can see his eyes get wide as he stares slowly, just trails upward, <laughs> finally getting to your. To your face and being like, oh, I have no idea. <laughs> and he's just in <laughs> awe by the size and the coloration <laughs> and just, he's never seen your kind before. You got any of those honey beebins? <laughs> Telling me a dwarf doesn't They're called know honey beebin buns. <laughs> <laughs> Honey beaver buns. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a delicacy pastry that, that, that is made here. Now I want um, a honey bun, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a honey demon bun. Hey, you got any. Um, you guys got ale here, right? <coughs> I mean, we've got a few things, yeah. Uh, how much for your strongest? How much do you want? I mean, how much is a pint? Two copper? Two dollar Tuesdays. <laughs> uh, okay, so two copper. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put two silver out there. I'll take eight rounds. All right. Agnes! He yells off to her again. <laughs> <laughs> she stomps into the, the cave, into the fire bar, bar area as he's pouring the drinks and placing them on a a large plate. Um, and you can see her tipping slightly as she's pulling out these eight uh, beer pints over, and she waddles over to your your table and slides them off onto the table. <sighs> Waddles back, heads back into the kitchen. Oh, appreciate it. Did we see a notice board or anything? Job board? I haven't looked for it. Uh, give me a perception check. Man, it's real cheap to get some beer around here. I could get sh- wasted. Thirsty, thirsty Thursday. <laughs> I could hey! get sh- wasted for cheap. All right. I am. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> there's not one. The room, no, right? You see everything, and there's no board. <laughs> yeah, so you just peer around the edges. You you seem to notice this somewhat misplaced shelf that's been like bookshelf that's been placed there, and behind it is what looks like an old um. Uh, job board or information board. Could I easily just kind of like pull the board out without moving the shelf or? No, no, it's like they were hiding it. Like they, it's been shoved up against the board and you oh, caught okay. the glimpse of the left, like the, the side of it. Hey, uh, barkeep, do you mind if I uh, take a look at this uh, board you're hiding? 
Sure. I'm gonna push the shelf out of the way. You need some help with that? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Make it safe. All right. I'll get so the other you two-man side. the shelf and slide it slightly. The shelf's pretty heavy. I mean, it's it's a well-built wooden shelf. Um, and you now notice that there seems to be warned papers on there of different uh, different notices that have been placed there. How how long ago? You're unsure. Are any of them still legible? Um, yeah, so one states uh, miners wanted um, speak to Justin uh, Honey Beaver. No, not Justin Honey Beaver. Oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Justin <laughs> Beaveshire. <laughs> we go again. <laughs> My note go. <laughs> speak to speak till to Ranthel Mechahoon. 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 Oh. <laughs> uh. What you know? Mecha Pee-wee's, somebody. You know Pee Wee's Playhouse, but not Deliverance. <laughs> yeah. What an odd man. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> Everyone should know Pee Wee Herman. True. Oh man. Uh, oh, is that, is that the only one again? that's legible? Um, the other one says, "Generous farm, looking for help." Um, that's it. That's the other one that you seem that seems to be the most. Those two seem to be the the m- most legible. What was this guy's name? Okay. Rayhoon. Randall Macahoon. Randall Macahoon. He yes. ran across the field and he has a mecha hound. That's right. And there's no and name on the, the farm hand. Heidi, Heidi, ho. <laughs> I don't know if this is the right way to. I think it was the name of the name, farm. But... Which uh, one? Generous Farms. Oh. I thought yeah. it was yeah. generous. Generous Farm. Wait, the farm is generous or the name of the farm is generous? It says Generous Farm. J I N R A S. Okay. Oh. Okay. Not G E N R O U S. Okay. No. G E N E R O U S. I tell it's spelled. Who knows? <laughs> Spelling is weird, man. Yeah. Spelling's <laughs> for nerds. And what do we do with nerds? We whomp them. <laughs> Jump and scrap files out. <laughs> I specifically hit them with my book. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you hit them with knowledge. It's called uh-huh. a word nerd whomping. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, Barkeep, I never got your name. Oh. My name. My name is Thumbrick. Thumbrick? Thumbrick. Thumbrick Twin Lantern. I assume that they're the, the bar owner, too, then. <laughs> It's a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he lives um, up the street. And I feel like I'm trying Steven. to pull, pull different things. Um, and all the stuff that I brought from the wagon, was uh-huh. there any like portrait, picture, or letters that might indicate who the wagon might have belonged to? Not that you seem to have found. Okay. It seems that most of the pictures and whatnot were ripped up. Um, so you did catch the a I'm trying to think. Uh, give me an give me an investigation check. Just let's see. Checking to see if you found the registration. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh no! Insurance registration, oh. please. <laughs> right now. <clears throat> Step out of your carriage, sir. That's a five. Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh. Yeah. You, 
Yeah, mostly everything was either ripped up, torn, burned. Sure. Uh, hey, Thombrick, uh, any chance you remember somebody leaving here with a wagon? Probably not that long ago. Probably like a trade merchant. That's all I can remember. Sorry. They might have been heading into town rather than Yeah, out they of may town. have. Sure. And got a wampin. Because they were yeah. hired. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, you might ask if they if they were expecting anybody. Oh, this... oh but you weren't expecting any merchants, were you? Other than the local... Uh, local uh, ale houses will drop off uh, carts every once in a while, but nothing I'm expecting. No. <clears throat> Did There's something happen on the road? This is like an ale wagon, right? Yeah, no. Okay. It seemed to have actually have either been a the way that the wagon was built, and the way that what you had found in there is it was probably a personal wagon um maybe somebody of wealth there wasn't anything like being sold you, you didn't find anything that would have been sellable i mean it was very personal stuff that you were finding okay um, hope it wasn't randfield mecca <laughs> <laughs> Right. Then he'd be dead. Mm. Maybe. Well. Uh. Well, I mean. Is everybody here, or is it just the two of us? No, it's all four. All of you. four of us are here. Yeah, yeah. We're we're. I just okay. got a round, two rounds of drinks for each of us. Or if someone yeah. doesn't want to partake, then we get more. Yeah, Destiny's brought all the drinks over, <laughs> and uh. <clears throat> Dalaris decided. I kind of assumed those were all for you. Compete <laughs> with the <laughs> local musician and pretty much drive him away from playing ever again. <laughs> Complete and utter humiliation. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you actually watch as one of the one of and somewhat elderly couple. Kind of walks past and tosses a couple copper in the man's hat and just kind of shakes their head and walks off. Into his pot? Into his pot? Yep. Man, those guys suck. <laughs> hey, someone's got to stick up for the local entertainment, you know? <clears throat> I'm here. I'm local. <laughs> <laughs> You are. So, uh, <laughs> what do y'all think we should do? Uh, I think I should down this beer. That is the best idea I've heard. Your food, <laughs> finish your ale. Get ready to right. go to sleep but soon. I, but I mean, like, do go we get wanna... a bath, wash off the the food and guts. Oh, please. Okay, I think Fruken. you're getting ahead of yourself Fruken. now. Fruken. Fruken guts. I mean, Fukin, Fukin guts. <laughs> the bath does sound pretty good before I go get in bed with all this freaking guts on me. Sure. But I mean, what's what's our plan for tomorrow? Are we going to try and uh, uh, clear out the mine? I mean, that's kind of what it sounds like. I don't know if the two cherry pickers over here want to go try and help out the farm or not. But... <laughs> we could talk to Ranfil Mechahoon and see if he will pay us some money to go in there. And clear this thing out. I mean, I'm just gonna go in there. Let Del do the talking. If we just go in there and do it for free, then he's not obligated to pay us. But if well, we're like, hey, no, you see, we'll you can go talk to him, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start clearing things out. Because even if he doesn't pay us to clear it out, I'm gonna find some ore. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'll go with uh, Estimus. You guys can do the talking. Yeah, it seems like a great idea. Nothing could go wrong. Sounds good. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I can hold my own before... Well, no, because he's the healer. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. 
<laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, it's great. Yeah, and you know what? It's just a, a caved-in mine, so there shouldn't be anybody they need to convince Desmond yeah, is a cleric again. You guys are incredible <laughs> yeah. architects. I mean, just look at how you fix the, yeah, wagon, look at the wagon with the pickaxe. Yeah, right. So I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure that building uh, the supports that you need to keep it from collapsing on you again well, is going to go great. The thing is, uh, we we don't have the wood to build that. You know? Ranfield Mechahoon might. Well, then you can talk to him and bring the supports, and okay, you'll probably get to us before I'm done clearing it out. Okay, that sounds good. We can do that. Yeah, just yeah. be careful. I'm always careful. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't surf wagons. Just. Willy you, nilly. Well, you, you I, tried. I, I did try. And you fell. And because, you broke the wagon. Because it wasn't strong enough. That's not my fault. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you, Elf Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, where, where's this bathhouse? Is it free? What? The bathhouse. Oh, who knows? Where is it, and is it free? He said it's oh. down the street. It's probably not free, but cover it. <laughs> <laughs> you are you saying that out loud? Or are you saying that in the uh, or just like whispering between the group? Well, I mean, I'm not whispering to the group about what our plans for tomorrow is. I don't think, think Jessica understands what a whisper is. That's true. <laughs> he has an inside voice. Come on. <laughs> you watch as the the dwarven man who's uh, hides behind the bar most of the time wa kind of strolls out, and now you can see he's just as long. He's just as wide as he is tall. And that's a bowling ball. <laughs> he, he really is. And he's got this massive beard that drops all the way down Cube. to his belt. And he walks up and he says, well, you paid such a good price for the rooms. I overheard you were looking for the bathhouse. He's like, I've got some tokens. Um, and he, hand, he slaps down four tokens on the desk. Just should cover it. I definitely appreciate that. No, They're good patrons. <clears throat> so I'm gonna pull S for the side. Um, uh oh, is it just me or are you a little worried about going to the bathhouse with these two guys? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think I can saying. get in and out of there first. <laughs> I'm, I'm just well. I mean, just like what are they gonna do in there? <laughs> what do you mean? You know I mean, what? There are some things, many things I do not need to know. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like, I don't want to go in there if they're just going to, like, pee in the water and stuff. <laughs> get in and out first. All right. Actually, you know what? We'll get in and out first, and then y'all can figure it out. Yeah, James, I want to stay like 15 <laughs> feet ahead of them when we're on our way to the house. Okay, so I'm guessing you'll be the first one out the door? <laughs> yeah, I'll be the first one out the door. I will. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so as you guys head all ahead out to the door, <laughs> you can now <laughs> see the two, guard, the two um, night watch, the ones that were landing, lighting the lanterns when you walked in. And they're standing there, and this other man who seems to be panting heavily has like his hands on his knees holding a what looks like a tuft of hair and you can hear him sobbing um as well there's your adventure boys conversation is going concern. on between him and the uh two guard uh night watch yeah, it's too do we just want to just want to ignore this and go to the bathroom. Don't go fix. Yeah, good I'm dog. already naked with my towel, man. I ain't going on no adventures. <laughs> All right, so we're just heading to the bathhouse. <laughs> no, we should probably check that out. <laughs> Y'all, you check it out. I'll go ahead and I'll meet you back here. <laughs> I mean, you're the sympathetic one, shouldn't you be checking on them? 
<laughs> True. You are always the one no. who wants us to help people. No, that's Karis. Actually, no. the first time we got in trouble for it, that was Decimus. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying that you made sure that Meliana and, and her mom were like taken care of. And had, Do you let the like, demon out? Teddy bears and like... <laughs> No, no, the bear? No. No. I ain't touching that bear. <laughs> no, the teddy no, the teddy bear that you gave to the little girl. We're not talking about the creepy one. That wasn't me. Yeah. We're not talking about the yeah. creepy devil one. That wasn't me, that was Kenna. Oh. Yeah, it was Kenna. Uh, I'll go I'll go talk to this guy. Hey. Hey, what's going on over there? Oh, this, this man is saying person. that there's some sort of um problem Demon? with the farm. Oh. Uh, wait, what? Is there a demon out there? I would hope not. <laughs> All right. The uh, the man just stated that the the horses seemed ill, and that somebody has been messing with them in the evenings. Must have been the demon. Like <laughs> what? what? Maybe you can find another bear. What do you mean messing with them? Like like taking them out and running around, or like eating them, or? They're just they're not they're not out. Him. You can see his face is like this white as a ghost, and it's hard for him to really put words together exactly. He says they're they're acting str strange and won't ride and they seem how long bloated. has that been going on? A couple days. Alright, well that'll probably keep till morning. We can probably come take care of that. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys want to go look at these horses tonight? Uh, I mean, I've already I'll dropped trout. Don't scare anything or... off. Don't Barely drop trout in the middle of the street, dude. <laughs> I don't know how many times I got to tell. I don't know why this keeps being an issue. <laughs> I don't know how many times we got to have this conversation. <laughs> Wait to drop trout until we're somewhere private. <laughs> this has happened a couple of times, hasn't it already? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> like, put it up. Just put it away. Like, it's we got we got stuff to do. I I got my towel already. I'm ready to take a bath. <laughs> All right, oh, so God. that's one vote for not going to deal with it tonight. <laughs> Are there any other votes? <laughs> Karis, I think in there and get clean before house and then we can head over <laughs> all right all right uh you what was your name the um, man seated uh, oh oh <laughs> um my name yeah um kenworth all right kenworth look we'll be over there in a minute we got to go take a bath first decimus has got his hammer out and we've really got to go like get this situation sorted and then we'll come take care of that <laughs> oh, oh okay <laughs> all right and you see him very confused with his head, like his hand in his head, and just like. Can you point the direction that you live before you go? Um, yeah. Or you can just join us at the bathhouse. Yeah, you can come talk at the bathhouse. Chill well, out. Yeah. Like maybe catch off. a break. Relax. Yeah, you come, yeah. come relax I don't while we really take a bath. I don't think I can stay away from the farm too long. Um, Man needs a drink. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna head head back to the farm, and I will see you all there. Right, I, um, I think. Where's Where's your farm? Um, just any points west, and he's just over the outside of the the village. It's a ranching farm. We we raise horses for both the. Um, Darkenhaven militia as well, or military as well as uh, for many of the the merchants around the area. Well, we'll be there uh, soon. I, I don't know. We'll get there after we deal with this situation. I mean, and... you should be able to smell me. I, I think I think it's best that I get cleaned up. <clears throat> there is something hanging off of left shoulder. It's kind of gross. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just some fruit and guts. 
<laughs> we ran into a little trouble on the way here. Um, right. Well, maybe you are the people to look for then. Um, yeah, so <laughs> my farm is over there. I will be there. Okay. And he starts to walk that direction. <laughs> look, man, the quicker you like finish your speech, the quicker we can go get these freaking guts off and then be over there. Yeah. So he starts walking away. All right. So you guys head to the bathhouse. Well, speed then, walk. Yeah. <laughs> right. so to get in and out house. of there before those guys get in there. They got in there. <laughs> so we walk to the bathhouse. And uh, inside there, it's um, very peaceful. Um, you're greeted by a um, an elven man. Uh, he says, uh, oh, welcome. Welcome to the bathhouse. Um, tokens are uh, one silver. Thanks. Hands over walk- token. I was like, <laughs> you just walk past him? Or just- yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get in there for Decimus and Carrots. <laughs> so you like slam the token into his chest. Yeah, here you go. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, can you um, hold these two off for a little while so I can bathe in peace? <laughs> <laughs> like slip him a silver, like two at a time, two at a time. <laughs> An extra. Yeah. Give me a persuasion check. Oh, snap. <laughs> uh. One, both of us. <laughs> I think I should pee in the bath just to spite you guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as long as it's after us. <laughs> oh, yeah, between the two of you, and he kind of looks at you, and he looks at her, and she says, Oh. Oh, no, so. no. <laughs> <laughs> This oh, is what happens. This is what you get. Okay, all right. And I'll put my arm oh, around oh, it. and just walk in. <laughs> just lean into it. It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> go with um, it. Go with it. We'll, we'll, we'll keep the others yeah, out. Yeah. If you have your time. And, okay. Uh, we'll check on you in a few. few. Hours. <laughs> 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 That's a lot of spruce right. new. <laughs> so you walk death by snow. You walk snow. in this small bathhouse. Um, might fit six people total. Um, and there's areas where you can unclose and get into the bathhouse, but it is a co-ed, so there are men, uh, men and women. In the same bath, but uh, for after you with your generous gift, he's going to make sure that nobody disturbs you during your bath. Well, I mean, there's probably a few different pools, right? Or is it just one big, humongous one? No, it's literally one pool, and it's six. Pe- it can fit six people. Um, it's a giant hot tub. It's a giant hot tub. Yeah, I mean, it's it's what a bathhouse is normally. Yeah, this is a small bathhouse then. It's a small village. Give them a break. I've definitely seen bathhouses. <laughs> you have to you know, while. the size of you, you'd take Little the whole thing up all by yourself. So it's just like we need to get in there. It's all over again. <laughs> it's just effect. There's not like a, a split. So there's like a... Yeah, red, it's co It's fine. We're all grown-ups. We can handle this. Yeah. yeah I can handle it just fine. Side. I have no problems with Oh, this. wait. <laughs> Car- maybe that's against like Karis's, like code or something. I, I mean, he's a priest. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Priest of Laird. Cleric of Laird. He's some kind of cleric. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's like <laughs> one of those religious people that just don't have a wiener. <laughs> you know, they just have it chopped off. A he's unit? a never nude. <laughs> no, he's, he's just a never nude, you know. <laughs> that was a real thing in a yeah. while, for a while in the 90s, I think. Mean. You just have like oh, swim yeah. trunks for bathing and stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So as you head... <laughs> Uh, as you two head into this um, <clears throat> very hot bath, um, you hear the other two in the or the the two in the front of the area go. All right, 
So we have to make a way to make it so nobody else gets in here because these people paid very good money. And you can hear them whispering back and forth um, <laughs> to the point where uh, Karis and Decimus, please roll me a perception check. <laughs> okay. Sure. I've got perception for days. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's see if I do. <laughs> Hey, I'll take a 14. <laughs> That's not yeah, bad. You both, real good. See, you both see as this uh, old man walks out and places a a, a closed sign <laughs> on the door <laughs> and looks around and catches you, just catches your eye for a second and then ducks back in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, wait. <laughs> Is it like a door to get in? Yeah, it's a door. I'll knock on the door. Hey, hey. <laughs> we need a bath. <laughs> Sorry, we're closed. Scrub, 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 Come, back. Scrub, scrub. <laughs> Come back tomorrow. What do we smell now? Well, I think for, <laughs> I, I think it's best for everyone in the town that we take a bath tonight. I mean, you can take a whiff if you'd like. We'll be quick. Um, you could always go to the stables if you're really dirty. <laughs> Just give, a, give us a few minutes and then let them in. It's going to be fine. We just don't want to you, be in uh, here when they get in here. Do you have like a hose to fill up the bath? I, I'll use that. I don't care. I'll take a shower out here in the street. Esver, quick bath so that they can get in. Let's <laughs> just... You watch as one of the, one of the others peeps around. They're not leaving. Yeah, just give us a couple of minutes. Holy shit. Just hold on. Oh, just whoa, tell us bad. somebody like... <laughs> Tell them somebody like pooped in the pool or something. I don't know. Just give us a minute. Um, they peek out, and now you see the young elder. Bring it out, Pepper. His, 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 you can see his uh, long, elongated face as he's looking out. He's, um, we're doing a short bit of cleanup. We'll be able to get you in in just a minute. Um, please hold. And they oh, wow. shut the door again. I can help out with that. I can purify the water. No, no, no. We're good. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> hurry, come on. Let's hurry. Are you sure? I don't, I don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going. We're going. That's we're going. Go, 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 go. And it's like, like scrubbing we're the going, hair. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Getting all the, the fruit and guts out and off yeah. and ew. All right. So as you guys completely clean off, the um, <laughs> the other one goes, we can't hold them any longer. We can't make up anything else. Okay, and then as I like flip my hair back from from being wet, I like to myself cast prestidigitation so that like it like there's like sparks coming out from the back of it and like like maybe like a like a little dove a little illusionary dove like just <laughs> all right. So as you watch it, just... <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> I'll get my stuff and get out. Wait, that's all right, guys. We it. my hair with my hands. It's, it's all good in here. You can come in Wait, now. How did you guys get in? Uh, yeah, we had to help. We're, we're leaving. They were closed for the night. <laughs> yeah. Somebody yeah. dropped a big Snickers in the pool while we were in there. We had to help clean it up. Well, it sounds like you two <laughs> dropped the Snickers because I don't think anyone else is taking a bath tonight. No, there's other people in there. Uh huh. Uh huh. We'll find sure. out. Yeah. We uh -huh. didn't see anyone leave the bathhouse in the past 15, 20 minutes. Nah, it's fine. Mm. All right. Well, <laughs> um, thank you for coming to the bathhouse, and uh, we will see you again soon. Yeah, um, maybe. They haven't done their bath yet. We'll see. I need to Ugh. invest in some shampoo and conditioner, don't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Soaps and... Uh, other oils are right here, and this one, the one uh, Elven woman just kind of Vanna Whites it to. Is is that covered or is that extra? Um, if you have a token, oh, it's the shampoo. The kind of, um, it, it's covered, but a donation is definitely um, expected. Oh, I understand. Throw two silver at her. Yeah, I'll I'll flick a couple silver into their little donation bucket or whatever. <clears throat> she her eyes get big and she's what would you like what you like uh well i've i've got this long hair i need to 
I need to keep it nice oh, here. and soft. Exactly. She grabs one of the the uh, oils and some some soap and hands it to you, and she she starts looking over your skin and looking at him. You've got green and blue skin, and I I don't know what's best, but uh, here. And she grabs a couple more things and hands them to you. Um, Beth's right here, and she opens a curtain and you can now see the right, the small nice. back house. If you need anything, please yell. Shh. I'm dropping trout and hopping in the water. <laughs> I thought you'd already dropped trout. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> miss, I, I think we should uh, be very sensitive to Dell's situation. I should bring up that he, uh, you know, shit in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's best that we don't mention it. <laughs> yeah. You're very shy about it. As you guys are walking out and the re- you kind of do your your switch over between the two of you, there's this <laughs> ponderous look between the two elves as they're just, who who are these people? Like, <laughs> it's a strange group. Um, as you get about 10 minutes or so in um where are your where are your markings for your blood touch <laughs> mine are very visible <laughs> mine are my forearms or on the arms <laughs> both of yours are on the arms I haven't yeah. even been covering mine up since we left the Hanata. They don't really know if you're a blood touch or not because <clears throat> they don't know what you are. Um, most of the cities, most of the people that you've met are very small town people. They are unsure of what you are rather than if you're some strange, twisted version of that person. Yeah, hey, just a regular old freak. Yeah. Not a super freak, just a regular freak. <laughs> yeah. Where where yeah. is Karis's blood touch? I said on my arms. Oh, so like where at on the arms? Like forearms, biceps? Yeah, just uh, just up the arms. They look more like uh, burns. Oh, you got you got a fire blood touch or something? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, yeah. I got gotcha. you. <clears throat> So we definitely it wouldn't be anything, much about wouldn't be anything they would have noticed, but uh, you did. Uh, they kind of glanced in to see if you guys were okay. Is, is everything all right? Yep, doing fine. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, it. just peachy. All right. Well, enjoy. And they go back to doing their business. Well, they're taking care of their bath. What are the rest of you two doing? Look at Ezefer and I go, Ezefer. Bathhouse in Demonshire, forever unclean. <laughs> uh, and I'll kind of like, I'm assuming that there's like we're probably in changing rooms, so I'm just like tying my hair back and like waiting for Esifer to get done with her stuff. Okay. And uh, that's also known as waiting oh. for Pam to get back in the call. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Discord right, and I are you. having challenges yet again. <laughs> he wants to know what we're doing while they're taking a bath, Pam. Yeah. I'm probably going to take a while. Going back I to the tavern. <laughs> I won't need that much time. I'm not waiting on these guys that way. We can walk and I can dry my hair as I'm going because I, you know, I've got that wind power. <laughs> so while we're, while we're heading back, um, were they carrying their gear with them or no, when they came or were you guys like that De- Decimus, did you have like a hammer and like Karis, did you have your book and your robes and stuff? Yeah. I had my basic stuff on me. Yeah. I, I, I everything my, else is in the room. I had my loincloth and my hammer, you know, the, the usual okay. attire. But okay, I don't. So I don't. Probably, I didn't have like my backpack or anything, you know. Okay, so they're probably fine. So we can head back to the inn and just like meet them there. Surely they'll know to meet us there, right? And not just go back to the farm. Possible. Um, I don't know. I. I mean, you guys I were definitely to thought after. we were going to the farm afterwards. <laughs> so that's so where we're gonna that's go. That's where Garrus is going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as you two head to the 
head to the tavern. And once again, we're going to Scooby Doo this and split up the party. Um, yeah. That's what we're known for. <laughs> you, uh, yeah. you head back and inside the tavern, uh, the majority of people are clearing now. Um, and the man who was originally performing has continued started to perform again after you'd walked out. <laughs> his performance his is a lot now. less dramatic this time. It's uh, very simple, but he seems to at least be hitting all the notes properly and keeping the rhythm. <clears throat> so, Jolly good show. Um, I'll go up to him and say better and put a, a copper in there. He nods to you and says, your performance was well. Um, Teach him. <laughs> Give him lessons. I can, I can, I can, I can teach you a little bit if you want. <clears throat> I mean, I don't, I don't have a lot of time. I just do this on the side and I'm actually a, a cobbler. Check out these cool boots that I have. <laughs> my boots. That's two boots. He says. Man, I wow. could go for some peach cobbler. Those uh, those are some very nice boots. They're magic. Oh. Yeah. How are they magic? Man, I don't understand how that kind of stuff works. They they float. Oh, what's the word? Uh, I'll cast identify on them. It's just a. It, it's just a. <laughs> the elven. The, it's an elven word for lift. Wingardium Leviosa. Yeah, that's right, Leviosa. <laughs> it's Leviosa. Yeah, and slowly but surely, you, you see the. You feel for a second, gravity lift from you for in. This is the first time you've done it, and you're like, whoa, and you go up about, about six inches, off the ground. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. So how do you get down? <laughs> I don't know. I'll just kind of will myself down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, very simple. Um, and you float down. I'm the best at magic. Oh. Why did I not do magic before? I don't... I mean, I don't know magic. I'm simple cobbler. You should I, learn. It's pretty cool. I don't think I have the... the affinity for it. Well, if if I've learned anything in life, it's that friendship is magic. So... Oh. <laughs> and you, you don't seem to be a local... Where nope. are you? Where are you coming, or where are you from? Here and there, you know. <laughs> All right. First um, here, and then there. Traveler, um, what have you seen? Yes. Anything interesting? This and that. <laughs> <laughs> Very specific. <laughs> yeah. I saw some, I've seen frukins and demons and, uh... Bears? We saw bears? <laughs> I saw four leaf clover once. Bears? Yeah, I've seen a bear. I've seen... Rode a, a bear. shooting star. And... Oh, um, that's fascinating. Yeah! Uh, I'm sorry, it's... I don't. I don't leave this town very often, and uh, that seems like should. a lot. You should. You should like. You should uh, wander around a bit. It's good for your soul. Uh, yeah. So maybe I'll head head south to. Uh, oh no! No! Don't do that. South entire... Yeah, I don't go there though. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 why not? That's where the frukin are. Uh, that place is lame. What's left of them? No, like uh, eight violin music there. That's where we released just, a demon. You know, and... just sitting off the edge of the coastline and just look out into the water. 
Uh, it's so it's weird. Last time we were there, they uh, they burned all their shoes <laughs> and said that if they ever saw anyone wear shoes, or God forbid, anybody that makes shoes in Tothenshire, <laughs> just be it's going to be bad. You're better off heading towards Darkenhaven. Yeah, like go see Darkenhaven. There's some cool stuff there. I mean, go take a look at the the Gloomport. The, the Gloomport yeah, and. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of shops and like probably somewhere they could teach you to, to do shoes better or to play the violin better or, you know, maybe magic, whatever you felt like doing. Do oh. shoes better. Do shoes better. Um, Cobble? <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe I will. Yeah. Know. What was your name? Uh, Brent. Brent. Uh, nice to meet you, but I'll say the last part in Agents Can't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't didn't follow that. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I just I had something stuck in my throat. Um, um and your name is uh, <laughs> Sir Auric van Lichtenstein. <laughs> Spartacus. <laughs> Spartacus. Spartacus. Um, That's right. Spartacus. Spartacus. Yes. Um, it's very nice to meet you, Spartacus. No. You too, Brent. Um, well, um... <laughs> Brent, I can't help but thinking after this, this wondrous interaction we've had that we're destined to meet again. Um, I would not expect it, but, you know, I never... <laughs> I won't underestimate it. It seems you are a traveling person you'll probably be around here again yeah i've seen some stuff and like if anything is like <laughs> come to my mind besides friendship is magic it's that we'll meet again <laughs> and next time our violin duel will be <laughs> to the death <laughs> or something i don't know <laughs> maybe we'll just whoever loses has to buy somebody a beer <laughs> what do you got like a minus <laughs> one charisma or something you have to look you have to like meet their level of charisma like that's the true art of charisma is you don't want to overwhelm them with personality i don't think dell can do that <laughs> <laughs> he can't help himself um yeah so uh i'm gonna just continue playing and uh yeah you have a wonderful evening all right, I'll see you in, in Dragon's Cross, Brent. <laughs> what? Dra I'll see you in Dragon's Cross. I'm not going to Dragon's Cross. That's too far away. To Darkenhaven. feel like you might be. <laughs> you can see this, like, scared look on his face, like, <laughs> looking at you, knowing who you came in with, and... Brent, listen to me. Beware the three-legged man. <laughs> roll, me a per, roll me a persuasion check. You might as well have just said the black spot. <laughs> yeah. Beware uh, of the man named Tripod. <laughs> oh 19. Three-legged man. Got it. Yeah. Um, is, is that it? Is that is that on the road to Darkenshire, um, or is that on the road uh, to Dragon Cross? What my my vision, my gift, it only predicts so far. Uh, avoid <laughs> carbs, but other than that, that's 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 all I got for you. Stay hydrated. <laughs> you watch this just this confused like look it's on his so face. Crazy, Mom. Hi. <laughs> He's gonna walk over to right. the the inn, uh, the innkeeper, and be like, "I, I need a drink." <laughs> oh, Jeez. all right. Grabs a small drink and skips over, and you can yeah, just see him sipping, sipping the drink as he's uh, trying to understand everything that just happened during this um, conversation. <laughs> All right, so while you two are 
doing your um, destruction at the end. What are the two of you doing at the bathhouse? I mean, I think I would have just uh, striking up conversation while I'm washing my hair and trying to scrape guts off of me. Okay, well then, you two have your conversation <laughs> as you're lollygagging in the bathhouse. Well, uh, I don't think we've ever really had a, a good conversation about the whole uh, arm situation. You know, you, you got the same thing. Yeah. I mean, now that we're we're both just kind of sitting here naked, it's pretty obvious. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, what are you trying to get at? This is kind dude, of uncomfortable. Dude, sitting in a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay. I'm not in. I'm not into that. You know, no, it, no homo. You know. But um, <clears throat> like uh. Are you able to do any anything special, you know, like that you wouldn't normally be able to do with your type of people? Uh, I mean, have you seen all the fire I throw? I thought that was just your your uh, otherworldly god's power, you know. I thought uh, that came from your uh, your book of knowledge or something. No, that's that's really about the only uh, magic I've been able to do on my own ever uh, oh uh you know kind of said many things on fire had to uh leave home early well uh how how did you learn how to how to use that i i don't even remember it was just you just kind of like tried to punch someone one time and threw a so fireball young. instead I'm no, I mean it was more like <sighs> you ever just like rake leaves and then uh you start throwing the leaves at other kids. Oh, uh, one time it wasn't just leaves <laughs> I was throwing at the other kids and uh that's kind of how I found out these weren't just bird <laughs> marks. Oh, uh Okay, yeah, I I just thought that my my arms were just turned into rock. You know, like they were stronger than skin. It would help to defend. You know, I could use them to to block swords and stuff. I I didn't even think about any sort of special things. You know. I I mean I guess I didn't really have a lot of time to even think about that, given my situation. You know. Wait, you weren't always what made of rocks. No, no, no. I mean, you you can see the rest of my body. I'm I'm skin, you know. Uh, start poking at him. See the mm. difference. I've never actually noticed. Yeah, no, I, I, I didn't even know this was like a normal thing. I would, you know, while I was, while I was uh, locked away, you know, it just kind of slowly started crawling up my arms, you know. <clears throat> Did you get it to stop, or is it still spreading? Oh, I mean, uh, I don't really notice much day by day, you know, but I I mean, I guess over the past few years, it's just kind of just spread. Are you going to, like, be petrified one day? I mean, I sure hope not. I mean, I can still use my arms. It's not like they're just noodles. <laughs> 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 it's not like they're not usable. <clears throat> All right. That's enough. Time to go. Uh, uh, okay, sure. So, uh, ready to head to the farm? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's go catch up to those guys. All right, so as the... On the way to the farm, I want to just try and throw fireballs or something. As the elves decide to... Uh, help you get some uh, some cows and get you moving out of the bath. Um, they step out, and let you get dressed, and then as you guys walk out, you can see the other one look in and says, "Oh, we have a busy night." Um, 
start draining the water. And, uh, <laughs> do do I hear him saying any of this on the way out? Uh, roll me a perception check. Okay. Yeah. May I as well? <laughs> Go like, for it. If I hear them saying that, then I would feel really bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Neither one of you heard anything other than what seemed to be a little mumbling. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. So they didn't seem I to be destroy water after you had um, <laughs> almost been out the door. I mean, I, so, I would have put a little more money in their donation pot if I knew that us making a huge mess of their bath <laughs> was like that bad. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I mean, I don't, I don't hear them having a problem with it. So, yeah, <laughs> it's. A, I mean, you had to get clean. It's not your fault. Yeah. No, you were definitely in need of a cleaning. Um, it's their job. It's okay. Yeah. So on the way to the farm, I just want to kind of like try and throw fireballs or any sorts of magic and see if I have that same ability. I'll try and coach him what I, I was doing as a child to uh, do that fireball stuff. <laughs> you you got to have a little so more fun leaves? in it, a little more energy. And you're just flicking this around the area? Well, I mean, like towards the ground, you know. I wouldn't just like start lighting fires or anything on houses, you know. <laughs> I'm just gonna go burn the town down. <laughs> making sure, just making wouldn't sure. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> I was gonna say he's gonna like burn holes in the. But I mean, with my blood touch, I can I can cast acid spray. Acid splash, yeah. Uh, acid splash, yeah. I I just I've never tried or thought about trying, so I didn't know I had this ability. Alright, so as you... Probably for the best. Yeah. Um, yeah. Paris, roll me a... Roll me a... Pre... Roll me a tutoring check. Roll me... roll me a performance check to try to see if you can teach him. Nice! It was almost bad. Wow. There you go. Wow. So... She starts to give you pointers and understand how to release your innate ability. Um, You take a moment and as you do, you almost like pour out this, this greenish liquid kind of pours out of your hand and onto the ground and you can see it sizzling. Oh, Oh, oh. Hey, I think we got something here. All right. Well, that never seen that before. Uh, yeah. Right, cool. I don't even know what this is, but it looks pretty dangerous. <laughs> Good. Uh, try it again. <laughs> I'll cast it again. See if you can get it out of your mouth. <laughs> I thought we could only do that once a day. You can. Yeah. You can only do it once a day. Oh. Oh, is it a once a day thing? Oh no, it's a cantrip. Yeah, it's a cantrip. Yeah. I That's right. Shocking grasp more than. Go for it. If it was once a day, I've definitely done yeah. fire bolt a lot. Yeah, no, it's it's yeah, not all cantrips. Sweet. It's a cantrip. That's gonna make my life a lot better. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> well, just being, well, never mind. I don't need it anymore. I can disengage now. Well, I mean, you know, couldn't you just like use that as like a the little uh little like gag hand shock things, you know? I could. <laughs> it does quite a bit of damage for that, but I could. Well, I mean, maybe like you the, could just like you it's know, like the Joker's. It's like the Joker off of Batman's version of it, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, Actually, I mean, electrocutes rather than just uh, a <laughs> slight stun. Well, I yeah. mean, maybe after like some practice and stuff, maybe you could just like control it a little bit. Just gzz, ah, I got you. <laughs> man, I don't know, man. I feel like it would just kill like a normal person <laughs> when I was practicing it. But it's we might like we the, might add that to the repertoire. It may, it's, like zap, yeah. it's like the uh, the zap from. You, you like could homebrew it in, you know. <laughs> you could flavor text it in. <laughs> All right. So as you. You release it again, and this time it just pours this noxious acid across the the ground. Shoot it out of your mouth? <laughs> I don't think so. Is it is it like Bleh. pulling, or is it actually like uh, eating away the earth? 
it just seems to be eating away slightly at the earth. Okay. Nothing crazy, but... Uh, yeah. yeah, there's like not really anything metal on the ground. It's acid, so it, yeah. I don't think it should do too much to dirt and stuff. No. Makes a nice puddle. Oh. Well, Blood. Uh, maybe I should save this for uh, those demons instead of just making a mess of their street sure. more than we already have. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I appreciate it. I could probably use this once or twice. Absolutely. That's really cool. Glad, uh, glad we figured that out sooner rather than later. Oh, yeah, it would be terrible if this just happened at random, you know. <clears throat> oh, All yeah. Right. So as you guys are coaching each other, uh, or as Karis is coaching you to understand your blood touched ability uh you continue to walk past uh the out the village um perimeter into the outskirts and there you can see a large ranch um home that kind of sits off in the distance that's where you there seems to be about half a dozen horses or so Kind of moseying along inside of the the pen. Well, just crazy. Worth outside. Uh, give me a perception. Detective Karis and Decimus back on the case. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, <laughs> works every time. KD Detective Agency. <laughs> Nineteen. Hey, not bad. He seems to be closer to the uh, closer to the home, but you can see the silhouette of a figure um, near the barn. Yeah, I'll yell <clears> out to him. Uh, for a second there, you, you just see the head pie to pop up. and Oh, um, hello. What can I... Uh, hey. um, We're here to help out with... What was it, your horses are sick or something? Or yes, they... Uh, uh, it's, it's mostly the... Um, these two, and he shuffles you over to the stable area and two of them seem to have this uh, kind of sitting sitting down or laying down and you can see that they've kind of got their head lowered and they're just very uh, very lazy looking. Lethargic? Mm -hmm. Yeah, lethargic. That's a good point. Good word. Oh, there's stuff about animal medicine. If you need help, okay, no, <laughs> let's not do this again. <laughs> well, uh, uh, they look just about as colicky. good as I do after some poisoned food, you know. Um, that's what we thought, and we tried to just, you know, feed them some more and make sure that things were better. But they haven't eaten in days, but they still seem to be. They're, they're, they seem to be still surviving, and you know, just unsure of what is going on. And he points down, and he you can now see that the only, the strange thing about them though is there's this bloat in the stomach area that's kind of enlarged. They're colicking. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get a rubber hose. And snake it up their nostril and into their stomach, and then drain some of that excess fluid out. I think what they're actually doing is they've got some uh, chest bursters. Yeah, and spine. <laughs> they got some <laughs> chest bursters in there, just ready to pop out any minute. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome, right? Mm. I mean, male horses. I'm they're definitely, I'm definitely no medic. So that's a good idea, though, Karis. Real talk. Maybe they're pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> um, I Demon sit spawn. down, open my book, and see if I can scour any information that might be there relating to their symptoms. In the magical book? In the magical book. <laughs> Roll me an intelligence check. Oh boy. 
I think we all have a lot of that. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> looks smart. I mean, hey, yeah. hey, not bad. <laughs> I rolled wow. really well. Um, you did, and shuffling through your book, you found nothing. Sure. Mm. Well, worth a try. Uh, did you even have uh, parasites? Um, I. I don't know. Um, they've we've never seen horses act like this before. Well, when did uh, they start getting like this? About a few days ago. Well, no, about a week ago. Hmm. Has there been any like Dude. pests on the farm or anything? Have they affected any of the crops? Um, not, not here, but. Things can, seem to be um, near the outskirts towards the, the tree line that seems to, things just aren't growing as well. I don't know what they would have gotten into. I hope the horses didn't get over there, but they shouldn't have been outside their pen. As far hey, uh, as you know, they haven't come into contact with anything out of the ordinary. As far as we know, no. Aren't, uh, and, aren't you yeah. able to detect any sort of... Um... Like harmful things. You do roll around. me uh, perception checks, please. Sure. Oh God. <clears throat> hey, that's a decent roll for once. Hey. Then a twenty. All right. KD detective agency on the case, dude. <laughs> you yeah. do start to notice this shifting and almost moving motion underneath the skin in the one horse. Ugh. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. No, that's not good baby or parasite or something it's either um, a baby or a parasite <laughs> well i mean did you we know, find they, out if it's male or female they're they're males oh yeah i, I don't think uh, they're pregnant kinsworth <laughs> real talk Got some gold uh we can just kill these horses and you can get new ones and then problem solved uh these are <laughs> No, these are Bucheshire <laughs> Greys. They're expensive. This is where uh -huh. the honey for the honey honey bee buns comes from. <laughs> I mean, uh -huh. yeah, sure, sure. Well, I mean, like religious magical people are able to do some pretty nifty healer type things, aren't they? Don't you have uh, something I mean, in your repertoire? <clears throat> I don't think I'm skilled enough to take care of whatever that is. Uh, I can heal them, but I don't think that's going to help. Isn't there like cure disease uh, or something like that? Or, or anything? Um, I don't think that's... Uh, that's not a spell. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I play like clerics. I don't know. Or, <laughs> or maybe I just don't have it. You might just not have it yeah, prepared. I can, I can detect poison and disease. I think a higher level is cure that stuff. Well, I know that yeah, there's sounds like a restoration. Yeah. I just thought there was like cure disease or something, you know, like like where paladins can lay on hands to cure a disease. Or whatever yeah, the heck the, it is that uh, they got. I thought the clerics had like a the spell restoration? cure disease or something. I thought uh, there was something yeah, before yeah. lesser restoration. I could be very wrong. I don't know. Well, point is, I can't do it. Well, I mean, are, are you able to, like, detect anything going on here? Uh, <laughs> not with the spells I have prepared. I'd have to take a rest and uh, oh, okay. come up with something new. Well, um, I mean, maybe we could just go back with our notes. I mean, I figured the other two would already be here, so I don't know where they've been. Yeah, I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, have you seen our friends? Did they not come by? Uh, they haven't, no. Did they go to the forest? I I don't know. They mm. just they never showed up. Oh, um, how about we check oh, the forest while really we're slow. here? You know, I mean, you said things yeah, weren't growing really over there. Maybe you could try and see if uh, your, your god would be able to help you to try and feel something out going on in that area, you know? Uh, might, might as well check and 
Like yeah. I said, we can report back and come back in the morning with a fresh start. Uh, there's no other animals that are causing problems, right? Um, not that I can see exactly. I don't. I mean, none of the other animals are acting up. We don't have a lot else. Mm. We have chickens. I mean, maybe sure, these horses sure. just got so, like uh, tapeworm or something. I don't know. Is that a thing? I don't. I mean, it's like super huge. Did you not see the thing moving around? I mean, yeah, uh, but, but here's I mean, what I'm thinking. And you see, it, it, it's almost <laughs> as if a wave kind of just is going like through the insides. Mm, no good. No so, good. So uh, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, you mm -hmm. need to lock up these two horses until we can figure out what's in them because uh, I'm thinking something's going to burst out and it's probably going to eat everything you got. We'll go check out the weird forest area where things aren't growing and then we'll come back in the morning. As you do that, you start to see this overabundant of spiders kind of across the ground. Oh, no. Spider. Oh, yeah, no. We don't want spiders. Yeah. More gooey webs. Dude, do I notice the spiders or no? Um, give me a perception check. Okay. Are they coming from the horses or? Hey, I'm having 16. a hard time telling, but they seem to be starting to spread across the ground, and it's hundreds of small spiders. They're approaching us. I'm assuming. Um. You look down, and they're already, like, climbing up your boot. Uh, yep. Nope. And at, uh, that, at that point, you see the movement and movement, and this tear comes out of the side of the, the horse, and just hundreds of spiders just burst out towards you guys. And that's where we'll... And that, in my friends, it's is where like we'll, those, we those will wasps. have a Wait. short... Short break. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh no, this oh, is geez. not good. What are we gonna do with like <laughs> dozens of baby spiders? <laughs> we'll be back in about five oh. minutes. Or so, fire. Fire. And, uh, yeah. Where we will fire find out it. we will find out what kind of uh uh um, extermination squad decimus and carrots can become. <laughs> so we'll see you guys in about five minutes. Breathing. All right, we'll be back guys.
We back. Yeah. Sorry, guys. We got to talking about cartoons. All sorts we're back of cartoons. Now. Yeah. All right. So, as you, as you can see here, we have set up our wonderful encounter with Decimus and Karis surrounded now by these quarter-sized ants, or not ants, uh, spiders that seem to I'll take the ants, swarm please. across <laughs> the ground um, in all directions. And you can now see uh, them bursting from the horses as well. And as Kindleworth looks down and he starts stomping. <laughs> All right. He's just a spider, going. man. And they're each <laughs> going to um, start to crawl onto you guys. So let's roll our initiative. Well, I mean, I think I'd take one. I'm back at the end. Dell, do you think we should go check on where those fools are? Nope. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we should probably go check on them. Just get you an early night's sleep, you know. Uh Might be dead by the time you get here. I don't know. We'll find out. I think you're dead for car. All right. (laughs) Here. I thought he said there was a farm, but there's nothing but spiders out here. (laughs) Spiders as far as the eye can see. Booters. (laughs) Spooters. All right, so please roll me your initiative, my friends. Okay. I I'm worried, Pam, that by the time that. we figure out where they are and get there, they'll either be dead or fine. Jesus, a six. Come, Come on, on, man. Oh. Oh. Maybe, maybe oh. they'll be both. Maybe they'll be dead and have spiders in them. It's true. I said dead or fine. Both of your options <laughs> were bad. <laughs> I don't know. The worms crawl in, the worms crawl out. <laughs> oh, Hell yeah. In your stomach and out your mouth. That's some kind of weird California nightmare song. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a great song. California? Teaching kids about <laughs> death. Yeah, and... in right? Yeah. H.M. Murdoch. As played by Dwight Schultz. Dwight Schrute. <laughs> I love The Office. Yeah, yeah, that's a good show. Learn not to laugh at a hearse, you know? Great life lesson. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see what we've got here. So as you guys are starting to um, notice uh, the ones on you, Karis, just start crawling up you. And they're now almost to the point where they're past your knee. And the one you see a, a few of them start to just and come down yeah. on your skin. See if they can break my skin. Hmm. Spooters. See something real quick. Okay. Oh, dang. Yeah, they definitely do. All right. Oh. (laughs) It's just a giant. Boom. As all these bites just start crushing into you, biting into your skin. I think you're allergic to them. Dude, I'm so glad I'm not there. <laughs> yeah. It's been nice That's... knowing you guys. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. It, uh, if it wasn't for my relentless endurance, that would have knocked me out. What? What? I had, we haven't He's dead, healed Jim. from the, yeah, we uh, haven't slept. We haven't rested in a while. We should have yeah. come out here in the morning, but mm, yeah, we had no long rest. I didn't yeah. think about that. Was, <laughs> no, the bath time would uh-huh, have been a short uh-huh. rest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did not right. think about that. Mm-hmm. I forgot about that, huh? <laughs> uh-huh. I think Pierce is also out of spell slots nearly. No, I'm good. I'm good on spell oh, good. slots. Thank God. <laughs> All right, yeah, I got, I got three. First, he has to stay conscious to use Karis, them. you're up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, dang, how this isn't. This isn't what I wanted to do first, but this is what I'm gonna do first. 
<laughs> uh, not here. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh, did these all came out of the the horses? Correct. You could see them coming out of the horses. You see that the ground is kind of starting to cover with them. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I just got to make sure this is actually an action and not... Oh, yeah, can't do that one. That's, uh, that's 10 minutes, not an action. Oh. Mm. No good. Uh, I increase it by D8. <clears throat> slot. Bummer. Okay. I'm going to have to do this, I guess. I'll cast Cure Wounds on myself. Yeah. It's probably good a good point. idea. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's good news. That's not bad. Uh, not really. <laughs> they did 12 damage. They could roll just 4 damage. Or they could roll 16. Uh, <laughs> and let's see. Either or. Decimus, uh, uh, you got uh, you got some oil on you? I think we hmm. should uh, burn these. I definitely quickly. don't have any oil. Oh, jeez. All right, plan B. And that's my turn. <laughs> that's my turn. <laughs> All right. So that puts us at spiders on Decimus. Yep. Um, well, I am not too happy with um, spiders being on me, and I don't like spiders too much. So well, they're going to bite you first. Yeah, they're attacking you first. Oh, okay, but... okay. I thought you said it was my turn. No, no, spiders, I spiders, on spiders on you. Okay, I misheard. Go for it. Do your worst. Miss. 14. Ooh. <laughs> they try to gnaw into, and they're just getting... The, the skin is too thick. As you're batting them off left and right, trying to keep them off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, now it's your turn, Desmond. Okay. Well, uh, like I had said, I am not a huge fan of speeders, and they're all over me. I am going to rage. <laughs> and, he watches. Uh, he rages, and as he does, spiders just kind of fly off of him. <laughs> and um, not enough. Mm, yeah. Uh, so they're like all over the ground in front of me. You'd say. Yeah, in front of you, on your feet, on your knees. Okay, well, I'm I'm more worried about the majority, which is probably on the ground rather than on myself, so I'm just going to swing my hammer at just a clump of them. All right. In front of me. <laughs> swing um, away, my friend. Swing away. So let's swing my maul here. Oh! Nope. That's not oh, good. Man. <laughs> Seriously, do you guys have backup character comp tips yet? I do, yeah. <laughs> I always have a backup. Guys, we might have a poll with some, some uh, details on the next <laughs> new round of characters. <laughs> oh, no. Um, oh, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me check and make sure we don't have any cool advantages kicking around. Nope, that's the idea. Yeah, no one gave James, you have one. Yeah, he oh, is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Use that. <laughs> Show us no mercy. All right. Yeah, no, I'm not like touching Dark Souls. Now. These spiders are showing no mercy to you right now, anyways, Karis. So uh... <laughs> sure. Yeah, let's go. All go right. On. So they're going to continue because they're on you, so they're just going to continue to bite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, Okay, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. They only have a plus three to hit. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, James, you do for... have an advantage, though. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool man. 
Yeah. I keep track of them. Oh, oh. sorry about that. Yeah. Roll that four damage. It's, it's yeah. gone though now. It's gone. <laughs> he, he doesn't have it anymore. Oh god. Oh, oh. I'm down. Jeez. Cam's worse like, oh, 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 I'll go find help. And he just <laughs> runs off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. So, James, let's say we're a minute from from Decimus and Karis. So that's <clears throat> ten rounds for the guy to find us. <laughs> ten yeah. rounds for us to get our crap and ten rounds back, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, um, I, I think we're this. gonna find a couple of bodies. Yeah, me too. I don't think we're even gonna find that. I think the spiders are gonna carry them away. Oh god! I, if I could just land a hit, you know. <laughs> if only we had fire. Movie, you know? If only we had fire. We have two right. characters that know AOE spells, and they're both at home. <laughs> All right. So with that, you watch as Karis drops, and the. They slowly start to, as he falls to the ground, you can see them kind of stacking around him and just starting to weave the, throw the webbing over top of him. So, okay. At least they're bandaging the wounds. Uh, all right. So the one that's going to attack Decimus now. Yep. Okay. Sure. <laughs> they probably won't kill you guys. They want to keep you alive. Real talk. 14. Yep, that misses. All right. This is my turn again? It's your turn again. Okay, well, seeing as uh, my good friend here has... Um, fallen? Fallen, and I missed my first my first swing. I am just going to start recklessly swinging. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to say pick him up and run. That's what I was thinking too. We'll stomp the I'll ground. take that nat twenty. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, hey, there we go, nat twenty. Yeah. Oh god! I'll That's roll me crazy. dice. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a plus two to that, and then whatever. What what is it we're doing for criticals again? So it's max so plus crit- dice. Um, yeah. So it's max plus dice. Okay, so twelve plus fourteen plus two. So that's like 30 ish. 28. Yeah. 28. <laughs> right. Right. As you watch as you just kind of do this sweep across, then this, these spiders just scatter. Um, yeah, they're, uh, that one's uh, dead toasted. Like you said, that one. How many are that, there? That okay. swarm. That swarm that is toasted. Swarm. Yep. And then There's I'm going to I'm gonna move over here to the swarm next to him or on top of him or whatever. Yep. That's the end of my turn. Alright. All right. Ooh, not good, not good. You're gonna be there's only one left. Well I mean you yeah, can do but this. he's down. I don't have any healing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They bandaged so... him with their silk. And they missed. And they missed again. Oh they're attacking him again? No, they're attacking you. Oh okay, okay. They switched. Well Part of them are. Part of them are attacking you, and part of them are yeah, still banding. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Okay, okay. James has jumped on board the bandaging train. <laughs> the bandaging track, that's right. Mm-hmm. All right. Karis, roll me your death save. Death save. Hey! Hey, nice! I thought I, I, thought I saw success. one. I was like... <laughs> that's a success! <laughs> a success. <laughs> All right, Decimus... Yep, I am recklessly swinging again. All right. Oh, you stink. They had advantage. Oh. They had advantage. <laughs> they sure did. Uh, you can, re- you can roll again if you want. Time. <laughs> no, they won't forget this time. That's okay. I won't either. <laughs> All right. You just tempted him. <clears throat> that's a lot of damage. So that's going to be 12 damage. All right, you swat a few of them away, but they're still angry. Yes, bring it on, bring it on. I'm ready. Nope, doesn't miss. <laughs> miss. Karis, roll your death save. 
no whammies, no whammies. Oh, hey, two. <laughs> two. <Yeah. laughs> All right, Decimus. All right. Does he have advantage because the spiders are <laughs> bandaging him? No, they're not bandaging him. Okay, yep, I'm swinging again at the remaining the remaining speeders recklessly as I do not like this situation. Okay. You may yeah. have him. Oh, oh Jesus. No. Eight damage. You're also watching as they oh. kind of they're they're jumping away as the swing goes by, so it doesn't seem to be hitting as much. They're smart spiders too. They're jumping spiders. <laughs> they are. They're jumping spiders. Are they barking spiders? <laughs> oh, Karis has advantage now. Oh, there you go. There you go. Hey. <laughs> hey, look at that, man! You're, the the chat does not want you to die. Oh. <laughs> uh, twenty. Uh -oh. Yeah, that definitely hits. Here comes the 400 damage. Bring it on. Bring it on. I mean, but worst it could do is eight damage to me, so. Nine. That's nine. That's uh, not and bad. we're rounding down, right? Yep. Yep. So four. Oh, wait. Never mind. I, I, don't, I don't have that. I take full damage because it's only bludgeoning and whatnot. Oh, no. That's piercing. Okay. This is I piercing. I thought it was yeah, poison damage. No. Uh, These aren't those types of spiders. Oops. They're not poison jumping barking spiders. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Healed well. Or venomous. I'm sorry. Venomous poison. Venomous jumping barking spiders. Come on, try to say that again. <laughs> venomous jumping barking spiders. How much of these spiders are still in front of me? Uh, or is it mostly just the spiders on me? Um, some of them are on you. Some of them are in front of you. Some of them are roll, or some of them are still trying to roll Karis into a cocoon. Okay, uh, I'm still going for the majority of the, the clump of spiders, so if that's in front okay. of me, then I'll continue to use my maul. All right. And still reckless because I'm trying to take care of these stupid things so I can help my buddy out. 17 hit? It does. Okay. Well, you should have him now. If I roll a 2, you oh! know. <laughs> oh, 16! All right. All right. <laughs> Almost. Oh, what? <laughs> Gotta remember, they're they're not, they're swarm. Not dead they're, yet. they're scattering as you start swinging, so you don't hit as hard. Oh yeah. man! Um, so I just this got lucky time, on a one hit. <laughs> this time they're going to you watch as all the webs just stop for a second and they turn to you and they just right up onto you. Yep. So this I'm not going to move the cursor onto you, but they're actually on top of you now. This is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is fine. Uh huh. Yeah. Everything is fine. Everything is awesome. Twelve. That'll miss. Yep, that misses. And Paris. Has... Uh -huh. Oh, With yeah, you get death save. Death save. With advantage. No sure. advantage. <laughs> You're good. Hey, nice. <laughs> You're stable. All right. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> All right. I am going to drop my maul and start swatting at spiders on me. All right. Recklessly, of course. He's doing Recklessly. the Macarena. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, does 13 hit? It does hit. Okay, good. Woo! Um, let me add my plus two in here. If you recklessly swat at yourself, if you nat one, you just like punch yourself in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Six damage. Those were not his knees. Almost. <laughs> Jeez. Almost. They're going to get one more bite at you, it looks like. <clears throat> oh, that's a miss. Yep. You said misses? Yeah, that misses. Hang in there, buddy. I'm doing all right. These little spiders aren't big enough for this ride. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> 24. That hits. So I had my plus two in there, so six. All right. And with that, you finally brush off the rest of them and you start stomping on the ground. And you can see that 
part of Karis's body is just covered in just pieces of webbing left and right. I just start tearing um, it off of him and I check his, his heartbeat and his breathing. He's breathing. He's unconscious. I mean, as long as his heart's still beating and he's got a, a, a decent pulse going on, then I'm just I'm going to grab you him. You know what? Just because you are who you are, roll me a medicine check. <laughs> he just kills him. <laughs> he still <laughs> coup de gras him. <laughs> That's a yeah, he, you, can see his, you can see his chest going up and down. You can... Um, he doesn't seem to be moving, but you can definitely tell that he's alive still. Okay. <clears throat> well, um, I am going to snatch Loot his body bodies. up. Okay. <laughs> loot the bodies. <laughs> you know, loot the body. <laughs> start, just start stealing stuff from Paris. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab him and start going towards the Fireman end. Gary. Yeah, he's just slumped over my shoulder, and I'm just gonna start yeah. carrying him back to the the inn. All right. So as you guys head back towards, um, Kensworth kind of catches up to you guys at the inn, informs you of what's going on. Um, in Jagovs, why did they go without us? We got to get there. I hope they're not dead. Jasmus and Karis. Why is that even a question? <laughs> There is no question that we'll ever be dead if the two of us go off on our own. Uh-huh. We're survivors, bro. <laughs> well, Karis is basically dead. <laughs> uh, All right. So as you guys start to head back towards the um, the inn, carrying Karis over your shoulders, uh, you see Kensworth, um, Dell, and Essifer running towards you guys. Oh, shit, he's dead. Quick, Esper. <laughs> Esper, fix it. I got it. No, he's fine. He's fine. He He's knocked out, but he's not dying. I look at him and see all the spider bites, like four billion spider bites. Yeah, he's just covering he's his webbing. <laughs> yeah, he, like, you can see, like, parts of the web, like, connecting still, and, like, it's, one of them's, like, literally, like, shot over his eye, and be, like, <laughs> six points. Hey, that's better than nothing. Hey. <laughs> Karis, you wake up, slumped over <laughs> Decimus's shoulders, like a sack of potatoes. You're alive! Mm-hmm. Thank God! Oh, man, that was... <laughs> The weirdest dream I had, guys. There were spiders <laughs> everywhere. This person out of his horse. Yeah, no, that wasn't a dream. I I saw it. I didn't like it. You know, you two look like you could use a bath. Um, I mean, <laughs> I don't need a bath. Does it with a dumb look on his face? Uh huh. Uh huh. I definitely don't need a bath. I mean, the spiders—they couldn't even bite me. The stupid little things. Uh, I think a hey, long rest would be in order. Well, I, should we I maybe check and make bed. sure they didn't lay eggs in Karis first? Uh, no, they they were like fresh spiders. You know what I mean? Oh, they what? they had bursted out of the chest. Oh, of these like horses. baby spiders. I mean, they were bigger than your typical baby spider, but yeah. That they, sounds like this. Is, you're not like coughing them up or anything, are you, Karis? <laughs> no, I think I'm good. <laughs> Start slapping Harris in the face. No! <laughs> Swallow him! Swallow him! That just Jesus will kill him. <laughs> all right. Oh, um, man. So as you all kind of round up together, and Karis gets back on his feet and Though extremely exhausted and tired, what do you guys want to do? First of all, I just want to say great team effort. (laughs) And as usual, everyone has performed above expectation. Everyone came out safe and healthy. (laughs) And, you know, so well done, Karis. Mostly. You tanked it like like an absolute boss. (laughs) And 
you know, Decimus, you made sure he got the healing that he needed. Um, so, you know, it's great. I'm, I'm proud of you too. And uh, really all of us in a bigger sense. Well, um, so I, we need to, we need to go back and look at the forest in the morning. That's a lot of spiders, though. Do we? In some well, morning, during so, the daytime. Because, well, you mean, know, that mine sounds like a really good idea. Well, yeah. Like, we're going to go do the mine, okay? Because we have all our spells We're, we're going to take Listen, care of the mine. I got the best idea ever. Switch up the party. We're already familiar with this farm. <laughs> yeah. We'll go there in the morning. Yeah. You guys can go to the mine. Yeah. You know, I'll stay here, and I'll make some gold by, like, playing in the bar. And you guys like I mean, or you could oh, go yeah. talk to Rhyhorn and find out if we can go into the mine. You mean Ranfield Not the same Mechahoon? Guy. Yeah. Okay. Ranfield Mechahoon. Uh that wasn't Ranhill <laughs> Mechahoon's fat house you were at, was it? No, no that was, was the generous Ford. farms, right? I vote that we never split up ever again. I, I mean, think that's the only <sighs> thing we should do is split the party. It's not Get the only thing wants. that we should do. But at times, it's a great idea. Okay. Yeah, I mean, as long as we can come to a consensus as a group, like I think that's fine. So, um, yeah, the this uh, very brave man here, uh, he said that there was something going on with plants growing somewhere by the forest line. So I think that needs to be checked out. Like the plants are growing more than normal. Like, they're they're not growing or they're growing weird. I don't know. Okay. Um, <clears throat> are they? How much are they paying us? Uh, good good <laughs> question. We haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, we were looking into the health of the horses when yeah. out of nowhere, just kind of, you know. <laughs> It, was, well, so it all happened very just, quick, and I didn't like it. Let me just let me just uh, tot this up. So, let's see. That's uh, a house call. That's going to be around <laughs> eight to ten gold. Um, the medicine that it takes to recover cares. That's not cheap. That's another ten fifteen gold. Uh, pain and suffering. Five ten gold there. You know. I mean, this is like a fifty to a hundred gold banger. Like, with what we've done already. I mean, and I just need a night's sleep. Don't need to put my. Cares, cares. Can't extort these people. They don't even have an income for this town. We're not extorting. I mean, five silver. Cares. We have a wagon to repair. <laughs> do you want yeah, a wagon? This guy has nothing to do with fixing that wagon. Well, no, barely... but his 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 like his boss. I mean, we're. We're not. I, I don't know if he'll even go for that kind of money. It's okay. We'll talk about it when we get there. We'll work something out. It's all gonna be fine. Uh, okay. Maybe we can like talk about doing trade on some carriage horses, or maybe like some feed for the horses or something like that. We'll figure it out. Right. Well, we gotta still There's figure out why the horses that don't have spiders in. Them. Yeah. Doing this. Yeah, we're not gonna take payment in spider infested horses. Well, I mean, uh, what the plants that the, that you mentioned where they're growing odd in the area? Yeah. Like, is there weird plants growing in that area that weren't there before, or? Yeah, like spider plants. I don't think so. I mean, did, did, it just seems like things in the that direction are like wilting and not surviving something's so maybe can we make a suggestion are they like melons or something uh, no no they're just like trees and vines and oh so not like plants that you've planted no uh, no no forest well, vegetation. Okay. The, only, the only thing we raise here is uh um Beavenshire grays okay because i was gonna say if there's like pumpkins or something out there those are definitely filled with spiders and we just need to burn those just like <laughs> immediately <laughs> so but yeah i mean we'll we'll do, you guys ready to go handle that now or you want to wait till the morning nope no nope. it's morning. Oh, wait till the morning, morning. Okay. i've seen enough for sleep. one night morning okay oh I need to uh plan a strategy i found out that i can um 
I can I can throw acid at people. Oh, that's good. Yeah, um, yeah just, that was really cool. Just be careful. Well, I, I mean, say. yeah, I yeah, no, yeah. Um, I don't I don't know if you still all need my assistance or anything, but I'm gonna head back to the farm and start cleaning up whatever. Tell me about was. about Brent that works at the tavern. Oh, um... Wait, wait, me? Yeah. Oh, um... I mean, he's a... He's, he's a nice, nice person. He seems quiet. Works to himself. What would you like to know? If he has any, like, peculiarities, like... He's not, like, summoning demons or anything, right? <laughs> I, I would hope yeah. not. Okay. I mean, this is a small town. We would probably notice something like that. But... Okay. All right. Well, Does I mean, Valsiria mean anything to you? <laughs> I mean, you say that you guys would notice that you wouldn't notice that kind of thing, but uh, your horses did just explode into spiders. So yeah, I don't. I don't know what. We're that just is. double checking. Just double checking. Well, um, if you happen to notice I... any more of those horses with crawling things inside of them, I, I'd probably kick them to the curb. Yeah, just like burn them. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, I'll tell. I mean, humanely, like, put the horse down first, but then like burn them. Yeah, no, you don't want to just <clears throat> watch a horse burn alive. No, that's not cool. That's not okay. If you yeah, do that, not good. <laughs> <laughs> if you do that, Matt will get mad. Brent will uh, come after you. So, uh, yeah, I. I <laughs> Like, all the spiders should be dead back there. I'm pretty sure I killed them all. But just in case, just... I, I'd i suggest burning the area controlled, you know? Right. Um, yeah, I'm going to go talk to the master and make sure that everything's... Man, in... just check your hair and your ears for eggs. Like... Well, no, he, he was... He kind of, like, left before everything happened. Oh, okay, okay. Like... He was there, and then uh, Carries went down, and he was like, "All right, I'm a blue skidoo." <laughs> I mean, because my God, could you imagine? Like, what if our friend here like walks into the bar, he's got a tummy ache, and then all of a sudden he just explodes into spiders? Imagine the kind of damage that could do. Ugh. It's definitely not something I would want to see, and I don't know where it came from, but uh, I'm sure. Uh, the master would be happy to pay if you discover what this is happening and maybe getting rid of it. Would you say that they would pay better than fixing the mine? I mean, I, you're not getting... <laughs> I mean, personally, you're not getting paid to fix the mine, and I don't know. But Well, I mean, if we brought back mining as a resource to the town, I think that'd be pretty big we I need to talk to Ranfield Mecca, <clears throat> Mecca for that but like yeah. I, do you think that they that your boss would pay pretty well if we find out what the problem is um yes I do because um we have a shipment coming from Darkenshire uh Darkenshire uh, Darkenhaven oh my goodness <laughs> Darkenhaven <laughs> Yeah, the little Maybe, uh, the miniature Darkenhaven <laughs> yeah, the we're in the Shire yeah, um, we have a small platoon of coming from Darkenhaven to pick up a dozen horses here in the next few days. Hmm. Do, that sounds do you expensive. Guys have a dozen horses, or are they bringing the dozen horses? No, no, we have the horses. We have okay. One, we have one other stable. Um, it's pushed off to the side for the rest and hope we've continued to keep an eye on both to make sure that nothing happens these are the first two horses we've noticed with these problems yeah i i think that um as long as the horses are kept well away from that stretch of woods you'd probably be pretty safe but uh yeah i will reinforce the fencing around that part of the Maybe if you could, like, several hundred feet away from the the wood line. 
Right. Um, I'll I'll let the master know. See you tomorrow, Kevin. <laughs> it, it, it's Kensworth. Kensworth. <laughs> and I will I will see you tomorrow. And he kind All of right. bows and walks off. Bye, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> oh god All right. hey so guys you... so just real quick while, while Kenworth, Kenworth's gone so Kenworth. if if they don't have the money to like pay us right <clears throat> like we're gonna need like an exit strategy eventually out of this lifestyle right so what if we're just like tell you what let's just like Cut us in on the actual business. That way, we protect it. Make sure no like spiders get inside the horses. And like, if they run in a little short one month, buy the farm. No, we go in as partners. Like they manage it, and like they own a percentage of it, and we own a percentage. That way, if they do good, we do good. If they do bad, we do bad. Can't do worse. I mean, you know. You give a man a fish, he eats for a day. You teach a man to fish, then you got a lot more competition. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think that's how it goes. I'm just saying, like, every once in a while, we can just cruise this war wagon back. Just be like, hey, you guys good? Any more spiders? If not, then we'll take our, like, you know, percentage of the income. And if there's not that much income, then we're like, all right, you know, do you guys need any extra help? Can we help out? And then, like, it's a bad proverb. It's really beneficial. <laughs> That's going to be another one of those t shirts. Well, uh, you know, I'm going to bed. I'm barely awake. Uh, let's talk about this in the morning. That sounds like a great idea. We'll firm it up in the morning. Over breakfast. I, yeah, I've... I've already... Uh, I feel a little gross even after I'm fresh and clean. But I, well, I, you want, I'd like to sleep. you want a sleep. beer? I mean, I can't say no to that. I'll have, him, I'll have him bring one up to you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll take a <laughs> nighttime beer. A good old bedtime beer sounds great. Night count. Yeah. Sure and then nice as and I'm warm, like, you know? as I'm like ushering them upstairs, I look back at Brant and go, never know what's going to happen in a small town like this. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> give me a, give me a, I've heard uh, it's safer. Me, on, give me an intimidation it's, check. I've heard it's safer on the roads. <laughs> give me an intimidation check. What is going on? Here's Johnny. <laughs> I don't know. He's trying to run this dude out of his house. off the rails again. <laughs> we'll meet him going down the road. <laughs> He'll become a running character. <laughs> his eyes get real big. Um, the roads, they're safer. Fly! Fly, you fool! <laughs> <laughs> what? He jumps and then like, runs out the door. <laughs> Play, play, uh, <laughs> Scooby Doo style. Yeah. <laughs> Violin in one hand, case in the other. And just before he goes, I grab him and give him the smiley gesture sticker. Because somebody in the chat was asking who all gets a smiley gesture sticker today. Everybody, great work, smiley gestures all around. <laughs> Karis gets two. A gesture, and you get a gesture. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Oh. So as you run off Brent, the local musician here, in the I helped him on his career path. <laughs> I have to travel to, learn. to go off on a different journey that hopefully will bring you guys past again. Um, Agnes waddles down the hallway and knocks on the door for Decimus to have his evening beer evening ale and the rest of you hide yourselves in your rooms for the evening to rest and recuperate and that my friends is a wonderful evening (laughs) after disgustingness and crawlies 
and that is where we will pick up next week. Oh, I will gladly take that long rest too. Oh yeah, we should do that. <laughs> yeah. Everyone take your long rests. Everybody enjoy your evenings of rest. It's been a minute for you to um, since you've actually been able to rest comfortably. So thank you all again for coming. It's always a blast. Thanks for all the chat <laughs> um, and everything else. Uh, it's been a fun time as usual. Enjoy your Dark and Haven stout. And <laughs> we'll see you all next week for episode Cheers. 16. Yes. The fate of Brent. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> the fate of Brent. <laughs> the fate of Brent. Oh, God. So we find it where we will find out what has happened to Brent, what is going on in the Jarvis farm, and where everything is heading. So see you all next week. Have a wonderful, Bye. wonderful week.